Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Microsoft Power Toys, just to let you know that we have a version upgrade that has become available just a couple of hours ago, and that's version 0 0.89. Now, Microsoft says over on GitHub that this latest release focuses on new features, stability, accessibility, and automation. And there is an improvement to advanced paste um, with this latest update. And advanced paste, as you may well know, if we just click on that uh, module, is a tool to put your clipboard content into any format you need. And I have posted a video on advanced paste where you can get some more info in case you're unaware. And I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, the latest addition to advanced paste is something I posted on back um, in February last month where Microsoft is adding media transcoding support to convert different video and audio file formats, which I think is a very nice move in the right direction. So once the feature is enabled, the tool and utility is enabled, if we scroll down right to the bottom, you'll now see transcode audio and or video transcode to mp3, transcode to mp4, which is H.264 AAC. And you can obviously turn that part of advanced paste on or off or the individual transcoding options. And you can click on the little um, edit to change your shortcut and so on. So just to give you a very brief example as to how this feature transcode audio and video works in real time. If we head over to a video clip to transcode, and convert, what I need to do is I right click, click on copy, and then using Win Shift and V to actually open uh, the advanced paste window. It'll take a second or two, depending on your, your um, hardware and your operating system. Here you'll see over and above some other options, we've got transcode to MP3 and transcode to MP4. So all I do is click on transcode to mp3 and you can see there it's taken my video clip and um, transcoded it into the mp3 file format which I think is a nice move. And once again if I click on copy and we use Windows Shift and V to enable the feature once again. Transcode to mp4, click on that. It'll take a second and there we go that's transcoded that to mp4. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction, a handy little feature as part of advanced paste now. And I have said in the past, and I'm actually seeing more comments on the channel that a lot of viewers of this channel even say in the comments that they wish that Microsoft would, um, would add a lot of the different tools and utilities into Windows as default features. And I think this would be a nice addition, this advanced paste with this new transcoding audio and or video which has now become available in version 0 0.89. And they fixed crashes when loading thumbnails after the .NET 9 update. And they've also resolved powerlauncher.exe blocking other MSI installers from creating shortcuts. And there's another fix that's rolled out, which is listed as a highlight. They fixed accessibility issues across fancy zones, image resizer, and settings to improve screen reader support and clarity. And they've also enhanced the user interface automation framework across the actual different modules. And they also fixed an issue where updating power toys on Windows 11 did not properly update context menu entries. So that's a bit of a stability improvement. But if you want more regarding um, all the bug fixes and the little add-ons that have rolled out, you can just click on the release notes. And that will take you directly over to GitHub where you can check that um, change log out more in depth because there's a lot going on. I don't want to be here all day for the video, but just focusing on those key highlights and the media transcoding support now that's available for advanced paste. And Power Toys, in case you're unaware, is maintained and developed by Microsoft over on GitHub. And is a set of utilities for you to tune and streamline your Windows experience for greater productivity and can be downloaded from GitHub and also as an app from the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.